Hey y'all, welcome to Racing Crafts. Today we're going to make this cute little wreath. Um, it can be a Christmas ornament. It can be, um, some of these they think I'm going to um, make up to put on the front of mini albums or I was thinking maybe even use it to decorate some of these candles I've been making. Anyhow, it does matter. You can do a ton of things with these and they're super easy and cute. So let's get started. Um, I'm using some of these um, evergreen Chanel stems. Um, they're from Hobby Lobby in the Make It Christmas section. They're called Canadian Pine Stems. Now these are a little different than these because I think I bought these at Walmart a million years ago. Anyhow, um, and then I'm using some tinsel garland from Walmart I got after Christmas last year. Um, I've got some of this in purple and I've got some um, in pink. Um, if you wanted, you could just cover, um, do the whole wreath in red. I don't want to. I'm just decorating it. So that's what I'm doing. You could do it different. Anyhow, um, and then the main component you're going to need are one of these plastic um, mainstay shower hooks from Walmart. I think I paid 98 cents for these, something like that. Um, doesn't matter what color they are. Um, one thing that I do, and it's probably unnecessary, but it makes me feel better. So I just squirt a little bit of hot glue in where it snaps together, and I know it's not gonna come apart. Um, I know from, pre from my previous wreath, you need four of these Chanel stems to cover it um, and make it a nice full wreath. You're gonna wanna run your fingers up and down um, the Chanel stems to kind of fluff them up a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to have more of a skinny wreath. And it just doesn't quite look right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I don't know why those are there, but we'll get them out of the way. Um, and then I have a combination of some of the little red berries off of um, this little bush here. It was part of a pick I took apart. I'm going to use those. On my sample I used um, glass pearls. These are all glass pearls um, with the exception of the metal filigree. Um, but on this one I think I'm going to use the be, uh, the berries off of that stem. I do have three of the gold filigree beads. I got these probably at Hobby Lobby would be my guess. And then I have three green glass beads as well. I'm going to set that aside and this should be good to go. I can pull the excess glue off. Um, and you are simply just going to pick a spot and start wrapping. Okay. Um, I wrap pretty close together because like I said, I want a pretty hefty wreath. I want it nice and full. And let's say we'll do it now. Every once in a while, I just come in with a little bit of hot glue I'm going to feed this Chanel stem through and just pull it across the glue. Hold it for a second till it kind of dries. Not dry, I guess with hot glue it's cool. But And then I just keep going until I get to my end. And again, this time I'm going to have to be more careful. I'm going to actually do it on the end of the Chanel stem. I'm going to use my tweezers and just adhere that down. And we'll start the next one. Um, after I get started, I do go ahead and glue my new Chanel stem down. 
you're not really gonna see hot glue or anything but you just know it's secure it's not gonna come off it's not gonna poke anybody and I just keep wrapping I'm just going to use that same hot glue spot for the new one and keep wrapping. Like I said, I like mine full, so I squish them really close together. You don't really have to make it all squished together. You could fan it out a little bit, but I don't see the point. So I just kind of do my thing. Okay, and then we're gonna add some glue there. Pull this guy down. And there is the wreath itself. Um, now you could choose to just go ahead and start putting your decorations on. As it is, except I can't get them to balance up here. <laughs> like so. But I'm going to go ahead and use the tinsel. Because, hey, I told you guys I was going to. Again, I'm just going to glue it down in the back. And I'm just going to pick a length of this tinsel and cut it off. I probably have way more than I need because I only wrap it four or five times. go and then I just come back to where we glued it initially put another bead of glue and glue it down and once that cools you can just come in and snip the excess off just like that and now comes the part where you decorate I'm gonna come in a little bit closer. Um, I'm not going to put the hanger on this one. If you were choosing to, you could just obviously not this wide, but just grab a ribbon, wrap it around and tie it. 
and then I flip it so that the knot is down and glue it. But I'm not doing a hanger on this one. Okay, so I'm just going to start. I do want a bow up there, so I know that's going to be there. So I'm just going to glue these beads on. Um, and I do um, glue them so that the, um, the holes where you would string them are on the sides. And I found that this is kind of the best way to go about gluing them is to just put the glue on the bead itself. And then the green ones I'm going to put over the red tinsel so they kind of stick out better. Like so. And then for our berries, you can see where I took them off. And oops, I'm going to make sure that is the area that gets the glue. And got a little too much glue on that guy. That's okay though. And I'm just going to pop these guys on. There we go. And there is our third one. Like that. I am going to move this green one though. Well, I guess I'm not. There's no other good place for it. It would normally spread them out a little better, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to do a little bow quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick fork bow. I think they work the best. You know what? I might have a fork bow put together. Hold on. I do. I have one right here. Yeah. Do I have a different color? Yeah, I think I want the white one. Eh, no. Maybe not. I do really like this one. Um, to learn how to make a fork bow, you can simply just um, look it up on YouTube. There's a million and one ways to do it. And once you learn how to make a fork bow, you can use like a hair pick to make a bigger fork bow. like this this was a fork bow used made with a pick instead of was it a pick or was that a meat fork one of the two anyhow so that is a cute little wreath that you could do so much with you could even make it like a napkin ring holder you know napkin ring you could do anything with them 
So that is my video for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.